master's student senior and I'm working for News 12 today. I started in the summer as an intern and then in the summer I got hired as a freelancer and now I'm freelancing with them and today we're here for the gubernatorial debate 2010. Today I'm actually working with uh, our anchor Doug Geed and Joy so I'm working with them. I think it's a great opportunity definitely something I can put on a resume saying I covered a political pol uh, gubernatorial debate. We're reporting I mean on this election that is completely one of the biggest elections we've seen here obviously besides the debate we had with uh, Barack and McCain uh, this is a huge event coming to Hofstra University so just being here and having the chance to cover this before I'm even out of school is a huge opportunity. I'm from Denmark and I did my, I actually did my, my BA in anthropology, but wanted to, to do my MA in, in, uh, in journalism and couple the two, two disciplines. So I came here two months ago when the semester started. I just enrolled at, uh, at Hofstra. Um, I'm working for the Long Island Report, the online news site covering Long Island news. And um, something like this, having the access to to, to get the experience from, from, from a huge event like this is amazing. I think it's great for Hofstra. It's great for the students because this is the third year in a row we're having a major event like this. Of course, in 2008, the most memorable one was the presidential debate. And uh, this really puts Hofstra on the map in terms of uh, students, want, uh, students wanting to come here, students wanting to apply here. I volunteered just to have the experience to be here, to be a part of it. I can't imagine many times in my life as a non-student that I'll have the opportunity, you know, to be able to be here on the floor and not covering the event. It's a really important part that the volunteers are part of it and also that the volunteers are from the Hofstra community as a whole because, you know, without it, there, there's nothing, you know, they, they can't put together. We can have people from public safety and stuff, but it's, it's that volunteer experience that kind of brings the glue together. We kind of fill in the spaces between the candidates and News 12 and the school. We kind of make that glue. I happen to meet with a student and I asked him why he came to Hofstra. He loves it here. And he told me, I came to Hofstra because you had a presidential debate. And he felt that that added an excitement to the campus that he couldn't get anywhere else. And now we have a gubernatorial debate, and that simply adds to it and adds to the reputation we have as a place where public affairs are talked about publicly. I, I'm an intern for the Center for Civic Engagement, and what we do there is pretty much engage the community with Hofstra, and, and um, right now specifically my project is working with high school kids around Long Island and getting them um, to be engaged and to pay attention and um, realize that they can participate. Well, since uh, graduating Hofstra in May of 2010, I landed a job at News 12 Long Island, which is about 20 minutes away from Hofstra, so I haven't left home too far. It's a different feeling. Last time I worked the uh, presidential debate with the Secret Service. So that was cool, but I was still a student. Now I'm a professional and I get to come back here and it's a different perspective coming from the outside, uh, coming back into Hofstra. I've come back a couple times to speak to some students, but this time around to actually work this is neat. I mean, I was outside doing my stand-up, so I was right next to Mary Snow from CNN. She was tossing to Wolf Blitzer. I, I was tossing to my local person, but it's it's neat. It's neat to be in here in a different environment. I used to come here for basketball games, and now here we are for this, and it's uh, it's a neat experience.